many times in his earthly ministry, Jesus returns to the same themes again and again, emphasizing them, making them stand out so that we will take this message as particularly important. And so it's important for us to return to these particular teachings, these particular themes, and reflect and allow them to settle within us. And in the eighth chapter of the Gospel of St. Mark, we find one of these teachings that Jesus constantly comes back to. He says to us, you must take up your cross and follow me. We must deny ourselves and follow him, he says. So we must reflect on how we do this. How do we follow Christ, deny ourselves and take up our cross? So often we reflect that the first step, the first step in following Christ is to abandon the things of this world, its distractions, its possessions, its wealth and so on. And for us in the 21st century, perhaps this is becoming increasingly difficult. Our lives are now filled with gadgets and electronic servants that make our life so easy. And we've become accustomed to a certain sense of ease and comfort. Perhaps more than, except for the very wealthy, anyone in human history. And so this first step, and that is all it is, is particularly difficult for us in this age. But it is only the first step to deny and abandon the things outwardly of the world is our first little baby step. How rarely it feels that way. But the second step is more difficult. It's much harder. It is to deny and abandon part of our very inner self. To deny part of our inner self. St. Gregory Palamas says to us, the cross is flight from the world. The cross is flight from the world. The cross, he means, is our separation from this world. It is death to the world, death within us. We must die to the world. So let us ask, why must we do this? Why must we die to the world in this way? To put to death this part of ourselves. Why? And the answer is because the Christian life, the authentic Christian life, is a battle. To be orthodox means to enter spiritual warfare. And we hear those words so often. So many of the church fathers again and again repeat to us. It is spiritual warfare. We battle, we contend with the world, the flesh and the devil. With all of the demons. In this battle, St. Gregory the Dialogist says to us, we can use the analogy of a wrestler. He says, a wrestler who is naked will find it easier to grapple with one who is dressed because his clothes will give him something to purchase, to get hold of, to throw him to the ground and overcome him. When we fight the demons, they come to us naked. St. Gregory says, the things of this world, our attachments to the material things of this world are a clothing to the soul. We dress the soul in excess and extravagance in those things that are unnecessary. When we overly attach ourselves, when we love and desire the things of this world, we are dressing the soul with something that the demons can grab hold of and overcome us. Because the demons truly are naked. They have they have no desire for material or earthly possessions or wealth. If we are to fight them, if we are to overcome them in this spiritual warfare, we must discard everything that they can get a grip of in our lives. Everything that is excessive, extravagant, unnecessary. There is a teaching that occurs many times in the Church Fathers. Anything to excess is of the devil. Anything that is to excess is of the devil. We mustn't allow ourselves to love the things of the world because, because a world dressed in worldly desire, a soul dressed in worldly desires, will be overcome in the spiritual warfare. We may be overcome. And Jesus says we must abandon ourselves. 
how do we abandon ourselves? Well, we do so by becoming new creatures. We, we've turned ourselves into distortions of what God has created. And we must become new men by God's grace. We must be created anew by God's grace. As St. Paul writes, it is not I who lives, but Christ in me. The old man is died and, and put to death in the power of the cross. This is how we put the old man to death, in the power of the cross. The power of submission, humility and obedience. Unless we abandon ourselves, unless we forsake our old life, then we are not following Christ, then we are not drawing close to Christ. We cannot draw close to Christ unless we abandon our old self. And in those verses from the 8th chapter of the Gospel of St. Mark, Jesus calls us specifically not just to follow him, but to take up our cross and follow him. Take up your cross and follow me, he says. Now, St. Gregory the Dialogist teaches us that really there are two principal ways that we can do this. First, of course, is, is this denial of the body through abstinence and fasting. It afflicts the body. But secondly, we must afflict the heart, afflict the heart through love. The body wants to consume, to take, and we afflict it by denying it. Similarly, the heart wants to judge wants to prove itself, wants to be full of pride. We afflict the heart through love, through humility. Both are a denial of self. But we must be careful. Even, even in these holy spiritual pursuits, the demons will try to trip us up. The demons will use everything and anything to trip us up, to lead us to fall. Physical abstinence, of course, can be turned into vainglory when we revel in an emaciated body and we are aware that the world can see how emaciated we are and how virtuous we are. And even compassion, compassion, it may shock us to know, can be twisted into a fall. It can lead us, it can lead us to a false holiness when when forgiveness and compassion becomes indifference, indifference to sin, indifference to evil. When our compassion is corrupted and becomes indifference, then we are corrupted and we fall. We must ask ourselves what it is we really need in life. Someone who is about to make a great journey, a long journey, will prepare by much. Many cases can be packed and off they go with many possessions and clothes. But we, we recognize our, our destination is close. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is within you, Jesus promises. Our destination is near. We don't need much for this journey. We must live as those about to enter a new home. Our new home is so close and everything of our old life when we enter this new home will be as dirty rags the possessions the wealth the status it will be as dirty rags and if we are to discard everything in our lives we must recognize it as dirty rags as filth as nothing our destination is so near. St. Gregory the Dialogist says to us, the cross is the gateway to our new home. It is the cross that is the actual entry into this new home. And we must not only carry our cross as Simon did for Jesus on his way to Calvary, but we must be crucified with our Lord not just carry the cross, be crucified with him. And we must be crucified with our Lord in his death that we may live 
his resurrected life.